Now, after you do mitosis, right, or after you do meiosis, that's nuclear division, right? That's just moving chromosomes around, got it? That's it. We're not dealing with the cell. We're just moving chromosomes around. After you do that, you've got to now cut the cell in half. Make sense? When you cut the cell in half, that is cytokinesis. In other words, cytokinesis is basically separating out of the cytoplasm. Make sense? So when you separate the cytoplasm out, you, in effect, make two cells. So basically, at the end of mitosis, for example, at the end of mitosis, you have one big cell with two nuclei, makes sense? But then you gotta go through what? Cytokinesis to do what? Cut them in half, got it? Now depending on the organism, whether it's an alga, fungus, protozoan, they've got some options in terms of how they do this process, correct? Okay, do. Now, cytokinesis can happen at the same time as cell, cell phase, that's the last phase in mitosis, right? That's the step where I just explained that you have one big cell, right, to nuclei, so cytokinesis can happen right after that, correct? Or in some algae, or some fungi, you can postpone it altogether, or it may not happen at all. So you may end up having one big cell with multiple nuclei in there, because cytokinesis never happened, it's <coughs> sense All right, in other words, if you postpone cytokinesis, you end up with what? Multi-nucleated cells. In other words, cells with multiple nuclei. You never cut the cells in half. We call this xenocytes. You'll see this word again when we talk about the type of hyphae and fungi. Okay? You'll see that again. All right. Now, this figure is just showing you the three ways that these organisms can do what? Cytokinesis, which means what? Cut the cell in half. Now, if we're talking about algae, for example, Algae have cell walls. We'll talk about that later. Which means you can't do this with a cell wall. You understand? The cell walls are rigid. You just can't pinch it off. So when algae do cytokinesis, they literally have to build a brand new cell wall. Makes sense? They build a brand new cell wall. In other words, they have the primary cell wall. Okay, It's going to form right in there. So vesicles come. They meet in the middle. And these vesicles will contain products for what? Building the cell wall. These vesicles will just fuse together, and over time, you just literally build from scratch a new cell wall. This is why plant cells and some algae, for example, when you look at plant cells on the microscope, they're all next door to each other, right? Like blocks. This is why. When they divide, they just build what? A new cell wall. That is it. Now, in terms of the animal type cells, like protozoans, okay? They can just do this, okay, literally, they're just pinching their cell, all that's called the cleavage furrow, in other words, you have that big cell, and literally, you have active filaments doing this. They literally pinch the cell in two, and when the two sides meet together, when they meet, right, they mean the plasma membranes, correct? When they meet, guess what? You've got two cells. Now, yeast, for example, okay, yeast can simply do budding. Just like some prokaryotes can do, right? You got the parent cell, and there's the bud coming off, and you still do cytokinesis. It's like miniature form. You're still doing that, right? Pinch it off, and when they meet, they being the cell membrane, right? When they meet, this guy is gone. Got it? Did you say cleavage is unique to animals? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this cleavage furrow is unique to animal cells, or animal-like cells, like protozoans, for example. So animal cells are animal-like cells. Now, this term you need to understand, this is schizogeny. Now, schizogeny happens when you have a cell doing mitosis, like here, right? Two nuclei. And usually, after mitosis, you cut that cell in half, correct? Well, in schizogeny, we delay cytokinesis. You delay it. So you end up with multiple rounds of mitosis. And this guy, this cell, with multiple nuclei, is called the schizont. So the schism is the result of schizogeny, meaning the cell is doing mitosis over and over again, but we are what? Delaying cytokinesis. Now at the very end, we eventually will do cytokinesis, and then all these individual little cells are called merozoites. Now why is this important? Okay. Plasmodium, okay, the protozoan that causes malaria, does just that. Does that. So when Plasmodium is growing in your red blood cells or your liver cells. It's doing this, right? It's doing multiple rounds of mitosis. It's making a schizont, and eventually, 
they come out as marotolites. So when they come out of the liver cell or out of the red blood cell, this is why people go through cyclic rounds of being sick. So you go through rounds of chills and fevers, and then you get better again. You go through more rounds of chills and fevers, you get better again. Because you're going through multiple rounds of these schizots coming out, these marotolites coming out again. Yes, Tabby? It's delayed. In other words, the schizon is basically one big cell with multiple nuclei in there because cytomyces was delayed. We never cut the cell in half. Because usually, in mitosis, once you have two nuclei, usually that's when you do cytokinesis. So as soon as you get two nuclei, that's when you cut it in half. But in schizogenia, you just delay cytokinesis. It's delayed. You do it eventually at the very end. These guys are called merozoites. So that is exactly what plasmodium does. When we get later on to those chapters, we'll get more into malaria and why it does that and how it makes people sick. Okay. Now this is quickly showing you the different rounds of trying to classify these algae, these fungi, these protozoans. The way back in Linnaeus' day, back in the late 18th century, we basically had two kingdoms, plants and animals, right? So if you look like a plant, like a fungus, right? You're a plant. Or if you look like a plant, like some algae do, like kelp, for example, look like plant, you are a plant. If you look like an animal, you're an animal. And okay. you only have two kingdoms. That's not right. Now, in the late 20th century, so last century, we had basically one, two, three, four kingdoms here, not including the bacteria. So we had fungi, protista, plantain, and animalia. Now, kingdom protista basically was your catch-all kingdom. In other words, if you weren't a plant, if you were not an animal, if you were not a fungus, okay, you got thrown into protista, okay? So in other words, protozoans and algae, water molds and slime molds, all of them got thrown in here, make sense? But now, okay, in this century, okay, we still got kingdom fungi, we still got plantae, we still got animalia, but we basically cut protista into separate little uh, classifications. Now, do you have to know of these guys? No. Simply know all these guys as the kingdom, formerly known as protista, right? So the kingdom, formerly known as protista, used to have algae, okay? used to have protozoans, and used to have slime holes and water. <coughs> Got it? Stay with me, friends. Stay with me. Don't fade now. 